Why, hello there, Greg. Here it is, the first coast to coast, New York to LA, what did I learn this week report. And I think it is the perfect week to start a new project because as you can see out my window, it's finally sunny in New York. And I always call this time of year jailbreak, right? Because everybody is finally coming out of their apartments, they're at the sidewalk cafes, they're walking their dogs, they're laughing, they're flirting. Uh, the women have been freshly waxed. You, you just know it, there's excitement in the air and it's magical. So it's a great time to start something new. Uh, so the thing, the biggest thing that I learned this week is about failure. And that's because I invited a bunch of friends, some of whom you know, to an event called Failure Friday. And we were commemorating my colossal failure on Kickstarter. So yeah, I don't know if I told you about this. So you know that for years and years and years, I have had what I think is the most genius idea. My first boner, a pop-up book. Right? So I've been interviewing people for years, different kinds of people, men, women, gay, straight, every sort of person. I've been interviewing them and the question is, who was the first celebrity that gave you a, a little tingly sensation? You know, ooh, your, your nether regions felt, felt a little a little funny and, and you kind of liked it. You, you enjoyed that sensation even though you were confused by it. And, uh, and for me, it was David Bowie in Labyrinth and it was, it was those tights, those really tight tights and that massive package and whew, I, uh, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that quite a bit. Um, so uh, I've been asking people this question and, and I, I think the funniest response I ever got was a few years back I was at, uh, I was at Benihana uh, which is where I got this, this beautiful Buddha glass and we were seated next to three stockbrokers. So of course I asked the question who was your first boner? And two of them gave a pretty standard response, something like uh, Kelly Kapowski from Saved by the Bell. But the third one, he, uh, he threw me for a loop. He says, boom, without hesitation, my strawberry shortcake doll. And he says, I used to hold her and kiss her and sniff her and touch her. And she used to smell like strawberries and she was so soft and beautiful. And ever since then, I've been looking for a girl who would be half as good as my strawberry shortcake doll. <laughs> and uh, I have often wondered, who is the woman he is with now? And, and does she know what the gold standard is? I, I, I don't know, but I would like to know. Anyway, so I always thought this was such a great idea. My first bone or a pop-up book, right? So um, I thought, well, let's do a Kickstarter project for it. Um, and we did a video and I, I set the, uh, the monetary goal at $5,000. And Kickstarter always says that you should do um, one month. Your project should be up for one month. <laughs> and do you know that in one month, I made a total of $151. And by the way, God bless the anonymous person who gave me that $1. I do love you. But uh, yes, $151. Uh, so humiliating. Um, but then on the other hand, you know, maybe you could say I, I did win on some level because I suspect that the discrepancy between my, my goal and the money that was actually pledged is probably the largest discrepancy in Kickstarter history. So I, I may have won uh, on some strange and sad level. So anyway, I invite everybody to Failure Friday and, um, and I, I choose the perfect venue, TGI Fridays in Times Square. Like I couldn't imagine a better place to discuss your, your failures, your humiliations, your tragedies than TGI Fridays in Times Square. So we all meet there and you know, I've got a laundry list of, of failures. I, it's, quite sad really. Um, but the thing that I found most interesting and what I learned was that um, everyone else, they tended to talk about like the, the funny failures, um, drunken antics or something stupid you might have said at a job interview. But we didn't really discuss like hardcore failure, like failure that really makes you think about what your next step should be or, or would truly change um, something in your life or change how you how you look at something. We didn't actually get into that kind of discussion. And I think it's because um, as Americans, our culture, we don't do that. I, I don't think we like to dissect failure on that level. I think we like to pretend like it doesn't exist or that we just sort of like push it aside. And um, it's, it's, a, it's just a very embarrassing thing for us. And um, you know, Truman Capote once said that failure 
is the condiment that gives success its flavor. But I, I really don't think that um, our culture likes to spread it around too much. I don't think we enjoy the taste of that so much. So that is the, um, the biggest thing I learned um, this week. Oh, but speaking of taste, the other thing I learned is that Dominican chicken is delicious. And I learned this because I was doing my laundry in the laundry room, because yes, I am a failure. I do my own laundry in the laundry room. Um, and uh, Jesus, the, the doorman, follows me into the laundry room and he's got this like steaming Tupperware full of, of something. And he reaches in there with his hand and slams down a hunk of chicken on the washer and says, sorry, you gotta try that, it's Dominican chicken. You never had chicken like Dominican chicken. And you know what? He was right. So whether you have it in a laundry room or a restaurant, or someone's kitchen, you gotta try some Dominican chicken, because it is excellent. All right, that's what I learned. I look forward to hearing your report. Love you, goodbye.